All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hitlin here with ForTheRide.com and the Rodeo Roundup, night number seven of the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo with your Team Rope winners, Travis Graves and Clay Tryon. Awesome job, guys. What, tell us about that run. Uh, that was a great run. We had a great steer. Um, they won the first round on that steer. Clay did a great job and allowed me to heal him, and we got finished good. Just, just happened. Good runs happen like that. Now, talk to me about the start in the Thomas and Mac, about how it's different around the other rodeos you do. I've heard from a lot of people that it's a, f a faster start than what people are used to. Yeah, it's like the bulldog and star. You can't, I mean, it's a, you got to detrain your horse when you come here. When you nod, you got to get going. And if you miss the barrier, it makes it really hard. And if you get a good start, it's pretty easy. Nice. And then how do you guys come up with the certain teams that you guys rope with throughout the year? Usually the best guys rope together. I mean, that's usually how that's usually how we try to do it. But um, uh, me and Clay, we've had a lot of success together, and hopefully we continue having a lot of success. Fantastic. Tell me about the horse, and specifically about the when they say that you throw a long loop on the head, and that wall comes up real quick in the Thomas and Mac. Explain what they mean about that. Yeah, you don't want to reach, like throw too much rope out there. If you miss the barrier, it makes it hard to do it. It's not about how far you reach here, it's about how fast you get your swings off in the box and just the timing to catch up. Re reaching nowadays here is no good. You'll be too slow, everybody's too fast, so you got to get a good start and just kind of rope them right out front of the chute and keep everything tight. Now, tie down and winners and team ropers are known to bring people up on stage with them when you cross the South Point, so who are you going to bring up with you tonight? I don't know, probably I got to big family a couple boys my wife I don't know they might be tired it might be just me now I mean I've been here enough it's all just me show up but I don't know my whole family will probably show up a lot of people from Montana the NFR is a big deal to them and I got a you know a roping kind of family a lot of us do it I mean we've all you know kind of made it now there's four trines there's none left I got two little boys maybe in some years away but I don't know there'll be a bunch of people up there all right and yourself probably just my wife and some friends that's probably about all on my bandwagon Fantastic. And who gets to drink the Pendleton whiskey tonight? Should I bring George Strader? Do I need a celebrity? Hey, I, I think we yeah. should do that. I don't know. Maybe we'll, I don't know. Maybe showgirl. It's Vegas. Who knows what we'll find. Hey, you heard it here. You never know what's going to happen on the South Point stage. No. Who gets to drink the Pendleton whiskey tonight? It ain't going to be me. I promise you that. <laughs> maybe our wives. Yeah, they might oh. drink it. They, they might drink it, not me. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hetland right here with your team rope winners in round seven at the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo with ForTheRide.com and the Rodeo Roundup.